Alright, I'm going to show you how to properly clean your Nintendo NES game cards. To do this, you're going to need a bottle of Windex, some Q-tips, you're going to need the Nintendo uh, security tool for taking the screws out of the back, you're going to want a cotton cloth, and you're going to want your cleaning solution. Uh, people use different things for cleaning. Some people use rubbing alcohol, some people will use just a copper cleaner. I like this cleaning paste that I get from uh, ClassicGameSource.com. I find it works pretty well and it's nice because you can buy the kit that comes with the paste, the finishing spray, you get the tool, you get some uh, non-static cloths and you get a new 72 pin connector so you can fix your Nintendo too if you want. Uh, to start with we're going to take the screws out of the back. There's usually three of them, sometimes there's five, but uh, most games you'll find have three. So just use the tool to unscrew those. Alright, and the back should just pop up and slide out. So take the screws out, don't lose them, <laughs> just set them aside. And uh, we're going to take out the board here. Now these uh, these are your contacts here. If these are dirty, this is what causes some of that blinking and, and whatnot, um, causing the games not to work. These ones look pretty clean, but we're gonna we're gonna give them a clean anyway, just to be sure. So you're gonna take your cleaning paste, or you know if you're using rubbing alcohol or whatever, um, just take uh, whatever you whatever you're using and just rub it onto the gold contacts. Make sure that you you know cover all the cover all the gold. And uh, if you are using um, a rubbing alcohol or a copper cleaner, you'll want to you'll want to make sure that you continue to clean it until you get all the uh, the black corrosive material off of the off of the contacts. Okay, so we're just going to cover that, and once that's done, we're just going to set this aside. Uh, this paste needs to dry, so we're just going to set that aside. And while we're waiting for it to dry, we're just going to clean the outside of our cart. Because if we're going to make it play like new, we might as well make it look like new as well. So I'm just going to put uh, Windex on a Q-tip, and we're just going to wipe down the uh, wipe down the outside. Uh, you could do this with a rag as well. I like the Q-tip because it's uh, easier to get into smaller spaces and. Uh, you know, you can control it a bit better. So, some of the dirt on the carts is hard to see until you get it, uh, until you get it a little wet. So, just going over everything and giving it a, a quick wipe down um, is good because it brings out some of that dirt. Uh, the most important part is here in the ribs. This area gets really dirty and dusty and gross. And the nice thing about the Q-tip is it just fits right in there, so you can just. Uh, just clean them all right out just like that no problems at all and you want to make sure that you get up in this area as well uh, usually usually gets pretty dirty and grimy up there okay I like to uh, I like to go over the front label as well the nice thing about the front label is that it's got a bit of a laminate on it so you can get it a little wet so I just like to go over it once, uh, clean some of that dirt and dust off there. Uh, you'll want to go down the sides, get all the dirt and the, the dust off your off your sides there. Uh, pretty much any, you pretty much want to clean the whole thing because your whole cart is going into the system. So uh, if your cart is dirty anywhere, then it's going to get dirt into your Nintendo system, and you may have problems uh, as a result of that. So it's good to get it all out of there. Now we're going to do the inside as well, just because, uh, well, it's open, we might as well clean it out in there. So I usually just go around the edge um, where the crack is, dust usually gets in there, and then I just go around the corners and the sides where dust usually would collect and uh, just wipe it down, give it a, give it a quick wipe quick once over to pick up any you know any little pieces out of there. Uh, this part here is quite important because this is where the contacts sit. 
Um, so if this area is dirty, it'll just transfer that dirt onto your contacts and then there's really no point in, in cleaning them. So it's good to clean this area out, get it good and good and clean. And uh, there we go. So now that that's clean, we'll move on. We'll do the back in the same way. Give it a quick wipe. And uh, the, the, the wet really brings out the dirt. So it's, it's nice because as soon as it gets wet, you can see the dirt, you can rub it off. And uh, you know when it dries and it looks really good. You have to be careful about the back sticker because it doesn't have the same laminate that the front label has. So if you do get it too wet it will uh, it will lift and curl and, and you know get damaged. So you want to be pretty careful around that. I'm just going to clean the edges here as well. Uh, up here this usually gets pretty pretty dusty so uh, you want to clean in both of those and along the top and then again, the ribs in the back are usually the they're usually the worst place for dirt and dust. So you want to get in there pretty good and uh, get rid of any of that. Go down the side and uh, that's the outside. We'll do a quick uh, quick clean of the inside. And. Uh, then we should be ready to uh, clean our board and put it back together. So again, we're just going around the outsides, kind of anywhere uh, with a corner or, uh, or a, an edge where the dust will kind of settle and, and, uh, and sit. Once again, we're going to clean this area out pretty good. sure we get all the dust and dirt out of there and just around there okay so now we're going to take our board here we're going to take our cotton cloth and we're just going to wipe that paste off um, if you're using just a you know um, if you're just using rubbing alcohol or something like that uh, you won't have this step because you'll just be rubbing those contacts with the alcohol and, and cleaning them off as you go. Alright, now uh, we're going to take the finishing spray and we're just going to put some of it on a q-tip. And this just kind of gets rid of uh, any residue that's left by your, your cleaning paste and whatnot. We're going to use a non-static rag. No point in using a non-static finishing spray if you're <laughs> going to use a static rag, right? So we'll just clean that off there. All right. So now that we're uh, now that we're clean, we're just going to pop her back together. You want to take the front face down. <coughs> you want the chips facing down. Just set it in there. Put your back. Clip it right back on there. There we go. Take the screws, put them back in. Screw them down. You want to get them good and tight so that your uh, board in there doesn't rattle. Um, you want to be careful though not to strip the screws, but uh, they should they should fit pretty snug. So and uh, there we have it. Game that doesn't rattle, looks and plays just like new.